place like an azure sky bade me to stay while your crimson lips begged me to yield to you. Submit I did, as there was no choice of anything otherwise. As you took me into your arms, my heart swelled at the dawning realization that I, the most unworthy of creatures, was on the precipice of paradise. The silk dress that draped you almost weightlessly glided to the floor, revealing alabaster flesh aching to be caressed and loved. Tears filled me as I gazed upon perfection, and ebulliently I whispered to my beloved, Those are fucking cracking tits. Her lips pressed themselves against my trembling own, then bringing my ear close enough for her to whisper, Weapon out, love. I was at her mercy. Beads of elation perspired from my head. This siren, no, this goddess, was going to take me to Elysium as she unzipped my admittedly damp trousers. However, shame would soon envelop me in its cruel and sadistic shroud. Her eager pouring was not greeted by a throbbing member, but alas, her strong hand had tried to clasp itself onto a reluctant and flimsy appendage. The pink warrior was very much flaccid. I fled in embarrassment, leaving my intended paramour perplexed and ultimately unsatisfied. A night that had promised sexual glory ended in pitiful self-indulgence. Such was this unlucky Friday evening. Me, young and virile, conducting oneself in a lonely solo hand symphony.